Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. It's been coming close to a month into Circuit Breaker and I hope you're doing well. As for me, it's been good so far, juggling between work and managing my five-year-old son at home. But I have to admit, it wasn't always so good. I got off to a rough start, but with some help that I found, I managed to find some stability now. One of the help that I got was actually an article that I read. It was written by Focus on the Family Singapore, titled Working from Home with Kids. The article shares about six aspects to look into to create a more successful and less stressful environment for everyone in the family when working from home. I've been working on these six aspects and it's been helpful for me. So I thought in today's video, I would like to share with everyone what are these six aspects and how I've been working on it and I hope it will apply uh, to you too. All right, let's begin with the first aspect, which is ritual. When working from home, it is helpful to have a ritual that will get us into work more. Uh, for me, it would be, you know, like keeping to rituals like waking up at the same time, dressing and styling up, put on comfortable work attire, and, uh, you know, styling up would be like, you know, styling up my hair, which I will usually do. Uh, this helps to put me in the right frame of mind to be ready for work. Also, I try to have uh, morning rituals too for my son. You know, in terms of like having breakfast together uh, or reading a storybook together with him after breakfast. Thus far, from my observation, uh, with these morning rituals in place, everyone in the family starts the day in a better frame of mind and everyone generally feels much better too. So that's the first aspect of keeping to familiar rituals when working from home. The second aspect that I had to work on was room. Now, room is about having this conducive work environment for ourselves um, or studying environment for our children. Basically, it's a close simulation of what an actual office or school setting will look like. Uh, for me, my office will be my uh, study room. You know, so my son knows that the room is daddy's office space and he has his own studying space too, which is uh, the little table at the living room. Now, by establishing the room as my work area, I also use the opportunity to teach my son about boundaries and respecting the boundary. So now he is aware that the room is daddy's office. He cannot just come in and now as he likes to make it his play area. He has learned to ask politely for permission if he wants to come into the room to look for me to have a chat with me. So setting apart a designated place at, uh, for work at home not only helps to frame my mind, but also you know, gives me the opportunity to teach my son, you know, about respecting boundaries too. So apart from crafting our uh, rooms uh, as boundaries for work, uh, another aspect that I had to work on was routine. Now, routine basically means planning a schedule for ourselves or for our children. For me, it would be to best map my work schedule with my son's schedule. Now, it's important to do that so that I can better support my wife, allow her to get some downtime and uh, for me to also get some connection time with my son during the day. So having a routine helps to give me and my wife a sense of predictability, which in turn actually is helpful for us to get some sanity. So uh, setting a daily routine you know, has been helpful for my son too, because now he knows when it's the time to play, when it's the time to study, when it's the time to rest. Uh, now, you might think that you know, having a daily routine you know, sounds so boring, you know, lacks spontaneity, uh, but trust me, during this circuit breaker period where we cannot leave the house, uh, such form of predictability that comes with the routine actually is helpful to give us sanity. So that was the third aspect that I've learned uh, to work on, which is about routine. Uh, the fourth aspect that this article challenged me to do uh, is actually restraint. Now, restraint means having self-discipline in sticking to the goals and the tasks that we set out to accomplish for the day and uh, it actually also helps to set a good example for our children too on how they can be self-disciplined too. For me, it is actually about being disciplined to not multitask, not multitask during work meeting, you know, to be focused on doing the task that is on hand. And definitely one of the big things is for me is try to avoid getting caught up with doing all this major housework uh, during office hours, doing work hours. What has also been helpful uh, was between me and my boy is uh, when I set the digital timer, you know, so that he knows that during this time frame, during this period, he's not supposed to come and uh, disturb me or interrupt me because I'm working uh, on, on the project. Uh, and, you know, but he knows that once the, the time frame is over, 
I would be spending time with him to play, to interact, and to read the storybook to him whatsoever. So when exercising restraint and self-discipline, I find that actually I'm beginning to train myself even more to procrastinate less and be more productive uh, with the usage of my time. So moving on to the fifth aspect will be rest, where we actually let our children know there are times during the day we will take breaks out you know, to either physically rest uh, or to engage with them, play time with them. I honestly struggle with this quite a lot um, because sometimes when I'm with my son or with my wife during my break time, my mind is actually outside. My mind is thinking about the meeting that just happened. My mind is thinking about what's going to be happening later in the next uh, meeting. Uh, so I, I'm still working on it. All right? It takes a lot of discipline all right, to discipline my mind, but I'm getting better. So yes, rest is important all right, for ourselves too, because we often get into this fatigue mode now with all these online meetings, so many of them. So a good break actually is a, is a good refreshment for better productivity. Last but not least, I want to share with you the sixth aspect for all of us as working parents, and that would be rewards. Rewards to affirm our children for efforts that they put in to their prioritizing their work, you know, keeping to the schedules. And I think it's also important to reward ourselves as parents. Right? Uh, it's kind of an affirming ourselves too for, you know, this period we're working so hard, right? Uh, so example, right? my, my wife recently uh, affirmed uh, and rewarded our boy, you know, because he's been cooperative during the day and uh, just sticking to the schedule, not being so whiny. And so we rewarded him by cooking up uh, his favorite food uh, for lunch. And for both of us, me and my wife, you know, we decided on one of the weekends recently that um, we want to just affirm ourselves, give ourselves a good treat, reward ourselves. And so we decided not to cook at home and basically order in you know, food delivery and just enjoy a good dinner. So there you have it, all right? Working on these six aspects has really been very helpful for me. So if you are trying to find some form of balance, coping with work from home, you know, and uh, why not try out these six aspects, work on them. Uh, or if you have some other tips and handles which you feel has been useful for you, please feel free to share, you know, uh, drop your comments uh, in the comment section below. Uh, so to read out on this article that I talked about, you know, about the six aspects, you know, or if you'd like to find out any of these uh, helpful resources provided by Focus on the Family Singapore to support families during this COVID-19 period, do check out their website, all right? It is family.org.sg slash COVID-19. I will also place the link in the description box below. So thumbs up if you like this video and uh, feel free to share it with your friends too. Uh, as we stay at home during this circuit breaker period, make full use of the opportunity to strengthen our family relationships too. Don't forget about that, all right? Thank you for tuning in. You take care, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.